so at that point in time, you know, gliding the airplane. So you know, couldn't quite figure out what was going on, but at that point in time, it's like, all right, now we got to land the plane. Realizing we then have an actual emergency. We, we, we did not have a chance to diagnose it at that point, but sure. we knew that it was a, a bad situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the first, uh, the first task is to fly the airplane, which we did, set up uh, the best glide speed, because at that point, we know we're still flying. You know, mm -hmm. in essence, we're a glider now. Mm -hmm. And so we set up uh, the best glide speed, uh, looked for a suitable landing field, mm -hmm. and then made, uh, uh, just kept flying the airplane. We circled above this field probably two or three times uh, at, the, uh, at the altitude, at a safe altitude, probably about three, 400 feet. We straightened out and uh, commenced with the landing. This is a, an exercise that every pilot from, from virtually day one of their training and all the way through everything they do in flying, this is something that we practice often. Mm -hmm. And uh, as an examiner, I present different scenarios during flight checks that would require this exercise. Mm -hmm. And so, in essence, uh, once we realized this is an actual event, mm -hmm. our training kicked in, and uh, at that point, it was it was a uh, uh, just a normal drill, except mm -hmm. that instead of adding power and 